Worshipping the sun has deep historical roots and can be traced back thousands of years in various cultures. Many ancient civilizations held the sun in high regard due to its life-sustaining qualities and its role in natural cycles. The sun is a symbol of divine light, wisdom and enlightenment. It often represents a transcendent source of energy and consciousness. Sunrise and sunset may be considered sacred moments in spiritual practices. Here at the ancient site of Rispapia, the Neolithic Sun Temple on the Danish island Bornholm, the traces from 5,000 years ago are clear. And if visiting today, you will still wonder how they knew exactly about the connections to the sun, especially at the equinoxes. The wood hinges are placed on exact spots connecting to the sun cycle on different parts of the year. I have known this place since I was a little girl. I often visited it alone, and I still do, with the feeling of traveling through different time layers, as if I was never alone there. The connection to nature, the sun, and ancient souls seems very alive there. The ancient sunstones that was found seems in various ways to have inscriptions like spirals or sunbeams. They knew something about our guiding star that we today, thousands of years later, have forgotten all about. They knew exactly how to connect to the universe and the guiding star the importance of living a life as a part of nature, connecting to the guiding star as center of everything, as center of past, present and future. But how did they know? Why did we forget to align to these cycles of the sun? Will we be able to learn again before it's too late? It is all in our ability to connect. This is the 11th video in the series Basic Ways of Healing Yourself in Nature. Humanity's connection to the sun is also manifested in the observance of natural cycles. From the changing seasons to the agricultural rhythms, guided by sunlight, our lives are intricately woven into the fabric of these cosmic patterns. Rituals and celebrations tied to solstices and equinoxes echo a profound understanding of the sun's influence on the ebb and flow of life. It is our connection to and understanding of the sun cycles that will guide us into the future as living beings in the great and ever-changing universe. The conjunction of Venus and the Moon on October 11th can carry symbolic significance in various cultural, spiritual and astrological context. Keep in mind that interpretations may vary based on individual beliefs and traditions. Conjunction generally amplify the energies of the planets involved, potentially intensifying themes related to love, beauty and emotions. The harmony and connection between humans and nature 
is woven with threads of respect, responsibility and reciprocity. It is about understanding that our fates are intertwined and that by caring for the natural world, we are in essence caring for ourselves and future generations. Discovering two chestnuts in one shell, only divided by a thin line, could be seen as a symbol of the interconnectedness of the two hemispheres in the human brain. Along with the involvement of specific brain regions like the prefrontal cortex and temporal lobes contributes to our complex and nuanced perceptions of time. The left and right hemispheres bring complementary cognitive abilities to the table, allowing us to navigate the temporal dimensions of our experiences in a rich and multifaceted way. The presence of two chestnuts within a single thin shell enclosure might symbolize duality or the coexistence of opposing forces. This could represent the balance and connections between various aspects of life. Such as light and dark, yin and yang, or complementary forces. The connection between humans and nature is a profound and symbiotic relationship that spans the ages. From the dawn of humanity, our lives have been intricately intertwined with the natural world, shaping our cultures, influencing our perspectives, and providing the very foundation of our existence. Human connections require care and attention. They demand the nurturing touch of time, the gentle understanding of differences, and the resilience to weather the storms that life may throw our way. Regardless of the circumstances of our birth, we all enter the world in a similar state of vulnerability and possibility. It speaks to the universal nature of the human experience that unites us beyond artificial boundaries. Bornholm and its surroundings have connections to Norse mythology, where gods, giants and legendary beings played a significant role. The landscape itself may have been part of the mythological imagination of ancient Norse cultures. The fortress of Hamasus on the top of the island served as a strategic stronghold, a symbol of power and a witness to the changing tides of history in the Baltic region. Hamasus is intricately connected to the natural landscape of Bornholm. Perched atop cliffs, it offers breathtaking views of the Baltic Sea. The connection between the fortress and its natural surroundings creates a harmonious blend, empathizing the role of human history within the broader context of the Earth's landscape.
its ancient stones and the stories within them might evoke a sense of connection to something larger. Whether it be a cultural heritage, the spirit of the land, or a connection with the past. It invites us to reflect on the threads that bind us to the past and the stories that continue to shape our present. Nature has an extraordinary ability to reclaim what was once shaped by human hands. When the echoes of human activity fade away and structures are abandoned, nature steps in with patient determination. The process of nature taking over runes is a powerful testament to the resilience and cyclical nature of the earth. It is how we connect to our past we become able to understand the life in the present. As you stand in the presence of ancient buildings, there is a profound opportunity to connect with the soul embedded within their weathered stones. Bearing the weight of centuries, they whisper tales of bygone eras and echo the footsteps of generations long ago. The very air seems to hold echoes of laughter, prayers and the silent whispers of those who once lived there. Connecting with the soul of ancient buildings invites you to listen, to attune your senses to the vibrations of history. It is the rustle of leaves in a courtyard that once hosted lively gatherings. The creaking of time-worn doors that welcomed and bid farewell. And the play of sunlight filtering through windows that have witnesses the change in seasons for centuries. The present moment is the crucible of our existence, the point where the past converges with the future. It is a fleeting, precious gift that demands our attention. A juncture where the decisions we make reverberate across time. The presence is the stage upon which our actions large and small contribute to the ongoing narrative, shaping the contours of our personal and shared stories. Connecting to our past becomes a dynamic force, propelling us toward a future where the lessons of yesterday inform the decisions of today and shape the stories we create tomorrow. So when you visit ancient buildings or places, close your eyes, lay your hands on the ground, connect to the ancient stories, and believe what you sense right in that moment. Allow yourself to let your intuition flow, sensing the layers of time passing through your body, remembering what you needed to learn from the deep past that lives inside you. With each passing moment, time whispers its secrets, inviting us to be present in the unfolding narratives of our lives. The past, rather than a burden, becomes a collection of stories that have shaped our essence. Our connection to the fluid past is a reminder that time, like a river, carries the memories of our countless lives. As we navigate the currents of time, we embrace the fluid connections to the past with gratitude. It is not a burden to carry, but a source of strength, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit across epochs. 
In the fluidity of time's passage, the past is not lost. It is an ever-present companion, guiding us, shaping us, and inviting us to dance with the timeless currents of our existence. I will, as always, put some links in the description box below, and I will return soon with new content on this channel. Stay kind, connect to your past, be in the present and shine your light.